Hey everyone, it's Mary Louise here from East Coast Stamping with Mary Louise, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Aylesford, Nova Scotia, Canada. Thanks for dropping by my YouTube video for today. If this is your first time um, to my channel, thank you for, for coming by. Um, if you'd like to hit the subscribe button, then the big red bell will light up right every time that I post a new video. Um, and um, if you are returning, Again, thank you for coming back. I appreciate your um, dedication. So today we are going to not make a card. We are going to make a little, a little treat holder, little 3D treat holder, I guess. Um, with the launch of the new catalog, I really wanted to create something just small that I could stick in with my catalogs to my customers and just to show them some items that they could use for something other than cards. So I found a really cute, this is not my design. <laughs> um, it's actually a begin, the, the original was one from Dawn's Stampin' Thoughts from quite a few years ago. And she used it as a Halloween treat. And I decided to do a little something different. And I am putting... the Ghirardelli chocolates in it. It's just the right size. So I've made a couple different ones, one with real red and one with old olive. And the designer series paper that I've used is the Bows of Holly. And um, let's see, we're going to use the new bundle that's in the catalog, the Leaves of Holly. So I've used the season's uh, Christmas wishes from this and this cute little die. Isn't that amazing? And this is what it does. And this is from the Holly Berry dies. So exciting. All right, so let's get started. We're going to put these two away and we're going to make a new one. And... Put my little list here for everybody to see. So we're we're using a, a old olive cardstock, four and a quarter by five and a half. So out of a, a regular eight and a half by eleven sheet, you can get four of these holders. And then we're going to score it at two and two and a quarter. So I'm going to bring in my. Um, you know, what's this called? <laughs> Paper trimmer. You can also score with the other, the other blade. And so now we have two and two and a quarter. And then I'm going to use my bone folder and give those a good crease. We're almost done. <laughs> um, so this again is the same paper, the Bows of Holly, and it's cut at one and seven eighths by four and an eighth. I'm going to uh, use the side up um, this time, just for something different, I believe. And I've already cut out, yeah, we'll do that. I've already cut out, um, a couple of the die cuts for the front. So now get my stamp and seal. It's so hard to decide which piece of the paper you're going to use because you know they're they're both both very pretty. So you just put that down. And then we need some Stampin' Dimensionals. And we just put a couple on just to give them a little bit of thickness because the chocolates are, are thick. Well, not thick, but thicker than, you know, you could, if you just put like a, if you want to put money in it or a gift card, 
then you wouldn't probably need to put a double double um, dimensionals but where the chocolate is going to slide in there we just want it oh I just turned that over <laughs> nutritional facts calories 70 you don't know how many of those I've made I've eaten it was kind of funny because I was waiting for my order to come in and I bought these two bags the um, these ones and then the ones that are in a white package and I uh, every time I'd come to my craft room to do something I would um you know snack on one and I thought well gee if I don't soon get my <laughs> my stuff my chocolates are all going to be gone so I'm just using memento ink and I'm going to stamp right on my die cut like so close to being finished again we're going to put on some of the stamp and seal Okay, now you can put your little chocolate in and I am going to use a couple of the ba uh, Pearl Basic Jewels and my Take Your Pick tool. I think each time I've done this, <clears throat> excuse me, I've put them in a different little place. You can put them, I was doing the smaller ones I had, I was putting at the end of the words. So, there are a few different color co uh, combinations. So, cute, quick and easy, and... Everybody loves to get a little something in, you know, in a package, pop that in the mail or put it in your customer order. So thank you. Teacher's gifts. And, you know, you don't, they don't have to be Christmas. Um, so there, there you have it. So again, thanks for dropping by. Thumbs up if you enjoyed my video today. And leave a comment if you'd like to know anything more. Thank you again and have a great day.